Hello friends, so here in this video I want to make a filter with a Laravel Query Builder from the Spotty team. I have installed in the previous video, so in this video I want to make a filter. And here in the all listings, if I go to the VS Code, I have the form here. which has the title and the categories, countries and max price but categories is hard-coded uh, count is hard-coded and I'm going to change this to be filter and also here I display I make a for each for the listings and in the listing controller just at the listing where it is published is true and get and for now we have only one so here I'm going to say uh, the listing category name and here the title of the listing the listing title and if I save and come here and refresh and we don't have the listing category name Okay, uh, where we have the categories, yeah, but I think we don't have the in the listing controller model, yeah, we don't have relationships, so I'm going to create that method listing, sorry, uh, category and here I'm going to say return dollar sign list belong to the category class and one more for the country so method here sorry method for the country and do the same thing dollar sign this and we need to return first return dollar sign of this belong to the country class hit save and go to the browser refresh and now yeah the country is electronics and we have the title here and if we go here we have two listings but uh, one listing has the is published to zero for that we have only one so if I change this to be one refresh okay I think uh, it's published I need to change here yeah hit save and refresh now we have two and this is the title and this is the title this is the uh, category okay now I'm going to filter for that and here we have query builder for the class and we allow filter for the fields so I'm going to copy this one go to the VS code in the, in the listing controller here I'm going to say 
Query Builder for the listing model and a load filters for the title. Okay, and hit save. Go here and refresh. And yeah, we have the same thing, but if I filter for title and so come here and add not like this but like this filter for the title and venyam hit enter and now we have only one if I copy this and say filter by title nostrum now we have only the nost the another listing but uh, here in the all listing blade I have a form and we have a title here we have the categories and I'm going to say uh, for each category all as a category and option the value is going to be the category ID and here we display the category name ok, save this one and uh, refresh plus here we need to say up models and category save refresh yeah here we have uh, electronics and cars and the same thing for the country now copy this one and here when we have countries just change this to be country and also this country hit save from here and refresh and now we have countries and in the listing controller if you go to the filter and here we can uh, specify for the exact filter and we need the exact for the ID for the country ID and the listing ID okay so copy this one and here we can say uh, exact for the country and the same thing for the category ID hit save come here and refresh everything is okay now if I say here and uh, filter for category ID where the ID is 1 we don't have any with that uh, because here we have the nostrum has the category ID 2 but the venue 
as a category D1 and so if I change the title here in the browser to filter title and add this one which uh, the category is ID is one if I hit enter yeah we have this one and the country D is one also so again here we can say and filter for the country ID which is one again we have that one but if I change this to B2 okay we need to fix this and yeah we don't have now but if I change back to one yeah we have the exact one and how we can uh, make happen to add the, this URL because if we make a get request a form we don't the Laravel don't leave the array syntax here so for that we need to use javascript and i have prepared something for you so here we have a script and the function filter results let's have our listings and var title document get element by the title and get the value so here input with name title and id title and here we if the title length so if we have a title the shref is going to be plus filter title and the title and i'm going to do the same thing for the categories and countries so id country and here the id category and here we can say I'm going to copy this one and paste again and now var country for the country also this for the category and here category okay so if the category dot length and I'm going to say the shref is going to be plus and the filter category id equal sign plus the category and i'm going to copy this uh, and do the same thing for the country okay and i think we are okay so if i hit save and document get element by the filter at event listener click so we have i have a filter a button type button and the id filter so i'm going to make a fake click here just 
to make happen for this URL. Okay, go back and I'm going to say copy this one and paste it here and hit filter. And now we have a filter venium. And uh, I think we need a var country document and We get the countries because we have this one. But if I change, I remove this and also the this, hit save and go back, refresh. Okay, copy and paste this. And now, yeah, we have the filter title, venium, filter category ID, which is one. And if I change this to cars and hit filter, and filter category ID two, and filter country ID one, if I choose this to be one, yeah, we have one. Okay, friends, hope you enjoy if i remove this yeah we have two and if i select another kingdom and fill the category id is one and fill the category to two okay maybe it is two yeah and this two but why we choose this and choose this yeah well now we have this one okay hope you enjoy friends and see you in the next one